Hey everyone and welcome back. This weekly video is going to be a little bit different. We'll be looking at another free asset on the marketplace. This isn't one of the monthly free assets this time, but because that content has proven to be very useful, people are getting some really good feedback on the kind of assets and not just looking at what's available, but also how they work. People have asked to see more in a similar kind of style and with similar topics. So it just so happens that the creator of this plugin at a really kind of good time as I was already looking at doing this type of content anyway, has contacted me completely unpaid. There's no paid promotion here. It's a free asset anyway, so anybody can get access to this and it is a runtime audio importer. So they've just asked me to quickly cover kind of what it does and how it works. I've had a look at the project and got a few things working. So I just wanted to do that with you now. This is gonna be super useful. You can see here, everything is completely open source. You're able to import any type of audio essentially into your project. So it also bypasses some of the issue that you have with playing things that are not of a specific kind of waveform and stuff. If you were to import that directly to your project, and of course it means you don't have to import the sound assets to your project as well. So along with this, we have some documentation. You can find it by very easily searching on the marketplace and of course I will provide the link for this if you wanted to download it. When you're here though, as I was mentioning, you can get the documentation if you wanted a step-by-step -step because there are two different ways that we can import things or load things into the project and I'll be showing you one of them today. The other one should be very easy to do but it does mean that you will need to turn off some of the built-in engine plugins and uh, kind of features which I generally want to keep. So I'll be showing you the way that I'd be personally using this. And then you can also download a test project. I'm going to show you something that I've found as a little bit of a workaround if this doesn't work. So you can get more information about what this does, why you might want to use it and everything like that on this web page here. If we just take a quick look at the documentation page, we can see here, like I've said, this will have a lot more information exactly how you can install it, how it's used and why you might want it. If you're watching this, you may already be looking for something like this anyway and know exactly what your use case would be. And then the second thing was the test project. So I'd recommend going along to this Git repository and downloading this. This will save you just a little bit of work setting up things like the game mode and a couple of classes that you'll absolutely need to get something running anyway. I did have a problem building this, so I'm going to show you a way around that I found to get this working in essentially a fresh project. Then the final steps, this is an entire engine plugin, so you'll need to sign in to buy this for free so you won't be paying anything. Once you've done that, you want to open up your Epic Launcher. Inside of the launcher, you're going to find the runtime audio importer and you'll install it to the engine. So this will give you the option of which of your engine versions you want to install this to. I think it supports 4.25 and 4.26 and I already have mine installed to 4.26, which is going to be the version of the project I'll be demonstrating this to you in. So the next step, of course, will be jumping over to the project. Inside of your project, this is a completely blank, empty, blueprint-based project. So you don't even need this to be C++, but of course you can, as it states on the plugin page, uh, operate with a C++ project if you wanted. We want to go to Edit, Plugins, and just make sure that we have the Runtime Audio Importer enabled. So like I said, this is installed to the engine, not the project. So when we tick this, we're just going to restart the project and we are then ready to go with our functionality. Okay, so with that restarted, back in the project again, you can see the warning has gone away, which means we're now ready to make use of that functionality for our plugin. And what you might want to do, like I've mentioned, is you can download the project from the Git repository that I have just here. Now, the issue that I find with this is that trying to load it I get a problem where the uh, it's failing to build and tells me to build from source. And I think it's going to be an issue of recompiling something in the plugin scripts. Now, rather than doing this, I found the easiest way is simply navigate to the content folder. Like I said, we only really need three very, very basic assets here. And there are these three assets just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these as the U assets. We can go back to our project. I'm going to right click on the content folder. I'll choose to show this in the Explorer, just a nice quick way to navigate to our folder here. And you can create subfolders here, but again, just to get something working, it's super simple. So inside of the content folder, I'm just going to paste in those assets from the other project, and you can see that they've now imported correctly down here. So what we have here, we have a pre-imported audio example. Now this is one of the options that we can take out of the two options. I've said that you can import the audio to the project. Now this one, if you look at the documentation, 
it does mention that you need to disable any mp3 based plugin in your project so that would be going into the project going to all of the different built-in audio plugins that come with the engine and searching for anything which uh, is defaulting to check for things like mp3 conversion files now i'm going to choose not to take that approach but if you did that basically what will happen is when you drag your audio file into a project it won't actually import the audio asset it will create one of these pre-imported audio files and that will have a link to the directory that your asset is stored for it to be pulled in at runtime now what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to take the other option so we need to go into our test game mode we'll set this to be the project default in just a moment and we can look a little bit at how the the logic is working here now we've got two options on begin play we have the import audio in play 2d or the import audio in play sound cue basically the same thing is going to be uh, running through the same type of logic to do the importing but what the difference is obviously is being able to play a 2d or a 3d based sound so i'm going to leave that as the import audio in sound cue we can double click to that to get to this function it's going to run through a little bit of logic here to run a few function calls which are included in the plugin the important thing here so this is where we have the two different options popping up again so if we had the pre-imported audio asset which is going to be the one that we have here then we can choose one of the assets that we've imported as the one to play you can see the comment mentions here that otherwise we want to change it to import audio from file and that's going to be the way that i go ahead with this so we're going to drag from here and we're going to look for that import audio from file function we can see we have that here so import audio from file and we can just remove this one completely uh, we want to make sure that we hook back up the reference just here and then all this really needs we can let this determine the format automatically or we can tell it exactly what we're going to be working with now uh, i haven't actually chosen a sign to work with yet so i'm going to leave it as the determine automatically and i'm just going to go and find a file path so this is going to be somewhere on my system with some music or a sound clip that i want to play once i find that basically what we're going to be doing this will be showing some progress as we go through so as it's loading it in and it takes a very small amount of time to do that when we have that it'll be updating what that percentage is and then on the result of that being successful then it's going to come back in and it's going to choose to set a sound cue that we have over here set that based on the parameter of what we're passing in and then it's just going to play that and if we wanted to it's then got a six second delay and it will show us how we can also use the rewind playback from this uh, plugin functionality as well so pretty much all of the basics of that workflow are demonstrated in this game mode okay so the final step and just to show this working i have the location of my music uh, i'm going to play a little bit of tchaikovsky because i i like it and also i think it's possibly copyright free so hopefully this won't get flagged and from memory i think when i tried this last time we don't need to worry about the file type so we can just take the location that the music file is located and then i've pasted the name of the song that i want to play and i think we can ignore the file type so with that compiled and saved we can go back in to our project i'll just do this from the project settings we're going to set the game mode to be our test game mode and really all we want to do now remember this is happening on the event begin play we didn't need to worry by the way about the test sound cue uh, if you were wanting to change things like the volume multiplier i'll turn this up a little bit so that we can make sure that we can hear this and hopefully i've got obs set to record the system audio as well so we're going to press play and we'll see how this goes so we have an audio importing error audio does not exist so possibly we do need to confirm that this is an mp3 I may have remembered that wrong so we're going to press play again and see how that works so you will need the file type even if you're doing the auto assertion there and I was just waiting sorry I couldn't hear anything through my headphones even though a little bit farther away okay and yeah I could see that so there is sound coming from the system and we have after six seconds that is rewinding it so we've got the intro of the piece playing just there and that is all working so you can see like i said you get a very simple kind of update so we've got the percentage it very quickly gets to 100 percent starts playing and then it's going to do that rewind functionality so hopefully you can see how easy that is to use as i've mentioned this is completely free to download so it might be a nice thing to add to your collection anyway just in case you might not need it right now but maybe somewhere down the line you'll be working on a project where importing music at runtime could turn out to be very useful and obviously it's very easy to forget where you've seen these or what the name of it was so this is how we can use it though like i've said if you wanted to find out more about the pre-imported audio example 
it isn't a difficult process to go through so just over on the documentation everything is described here as well uh, like i said very much the same thing you've got the bulk of the uh, the logic at least being processed and described for you and then you can go to this pre-importing option here and like i've said the only reason i'm not doing this is i just didn't want to go through the restarting the uh, the project so many times to check whether i've got all of the mp3 plugins disabled but once you've got that done like i've mentioned it says here all you need to do is drag the audio file into the project and you'll get the pre-imported sound asset rather than the audio file imported and it will automatically link that to the destination where that file was and that's one thing to note here so that's another kind of caveat with this with the pre-imported sound asset you may have noticed that all of this is grayed out once you've made that import process or taken that process uh, you're unable to come back in change where that location is so you would need to keep track of where your files are and if that ever changes you will need to re-import those assets uh, which is why i didn't just direct this to the same location as the sound file that i have here but other than that, this seems like a really, really solid, useful plugin. The creator does have some other plugins similar, again, also free for runtime file importing. And again, if videos like this are proving useful and interesting for everybody on the channel, then I'll be looking at making more in the future. If you are an asset creator, and if you wanted to have me look at any of your projects as well, then just get in touch and I'd be happy cover any assets that seem useful especially the free ones as i know that way a lot of people watching the videos are going to be able to get involved follow along and hopefully make use of them as well and of course do remember if you enjoy the content provided on the channel you can support the channel and the content that i make over on patreon just wanted to say a huge thank you as always to all of the patreon supporters over there an extra huge thank you this month to Dominic and Val, the first two people to take up the new Patreon tier. I wasn't expecting anyone to use that quite so quickly. So it's been great working with you. And again, thank you for taking the dive into that tier. As ever, a big thank you to all of the top tier supporters and the longtime supporters, Emma Asplund, Jason, Nasa, and Tuna Hungry, and anybody else who is pledging support over on Patreon. I'm always keeping an eye out for familiar names and always super grateful for your continued support. Of course, if you wanted to show your support and you weren't able to do so in such a way over on a platform like Patreon, then just leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell is always super appreciated as well. And hopefully it will one day let YouTube know that people want to see this content. As ever though, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.